our YouTube channel so you can share this with other individuals in your company, in your organization, in your nonprofit. Uh, it's so important when we are building a brand, when we are building a movement, when we are building a presence, we have an opportunity to create what I call walking billboard. Many coaches in the industry over the years have called it advocates, cheerleaders. I've called it all of those things across the years. A walking billboard, we saw, I'm gonna take a picture of it in the next uh, visit I come through, a amazing billboard that was just the, one of the most perfect um, scenes that I've seen in a billboard. And it just had so many different topics and, and items to share. And I'm gonna speak more about our walking billboards and more about what your walking billboard would look like, and then a reason to have a walking billboard, and then what you would do to help celebrate and oh, just acknowledge those walking billboards. And so first of all, what is a walking billboard? As you can see, a person is a walking billboard in many aspects. There are many other types. We're gonna talk about specifically an individual who has experienced you personally, has, and that's one stage of the game. So let's say you have an individual you are amazing friends with. I have a wonderful, many, many individual friends that I am so thankful to have relationships with. Some of them have personally experienced some of our uh, coaching programs, our one-on-one -on -one coaching, et cetera, at all different levels. Uh, I have an amazing individual that has already referred a couple of people um, based off of just a couple of meetings. We've not actually dove into the full coaching process and they were just so amazed and so odd with the process. They've already been sharing with a multitude of people how powerful the materials we have to share with them are valuable to others. That is a amazing walking billboard that's not really dove into the process and yet they're already aware of how many opportunities are available for leaders. And our weekly commitment each week we've been working on for 2020 is focus, we're gonna rotate between personal, professional, leadership, and relationship. This week, we're focusing on how are you owning your leadership. And according to another's life, according into another individual is a part of your gift every day. When they are walking billboard for you, they are telling you, as well as themselves and others, that you're valuable. And all of us want to know that. And you want to give that to others. You want to be providing value. And so the opportunity we have moving forward is to help those that we love to work with, those that we love to pour into, and those that get value from us being poured into and from them, it's a, it's a vice versa thing. Uh, a coaching group I recently led, one of the things we shared at the end of it is that we learn as much as we give to our clients. Uh, as we walk clients through a process, it's growing us as much as it's growing them in some cases. And I, years ago, I learned as a coach, Pour into those that inspire you, because as you're inspiring them and they're inspiring you, you grow and multiply your value. So diving into another level of a walking billboard, you've got the walking billboards that are people that have really experienced your service, or you as a person, you as uh, your character, your, now remember, we're all flawed. We all have mistakes, life happens, all that good stuff. In the same aspect, uh, who we are on a daily basis, who we are when we wake up each day, committing to who we serve, committing to our message, to our opportunity to move somebody forward. That's a big aspect for me personally. And the clients that I get to serve know that not only do I look for leaders, those that want to grow and develop others, I also look for those that are really purposeful about looking in the mirror. Not an easy thing to do. Choosing to discover your layers is a commitment. And there are a lot of different coaching programs out there. There are a lot of different resources that are available. And yet choosing to look in the mirror, choosing to look through the layers of an individual, learning how to open the doors to where those walls are, that's a daily process. I've been spending many a years learning that process for myself and for others. So some of my walking billboards, um, my husband is one of them. He is a MVP. We have many MVPs from our Masters League competition. He'll be joining us for Freedom Friday next Friday to have some announcements for you. And he's a walking billboard. Um, he was not my husband when he was, became an MVP. That's another story. <laughs> Yet uh, he openly shares his own experience as well as uh, the process that he went through. He had individuals watch him grow and make comments to him as well. 
So the other gift that you have um, in our other uh, avenues, we have some people that have only taken a couple of our programs or they've gone through one and they're more of a walking billboard of, okay, I've had this experience and this is how it's helped me. And then I've got a couple other walking billboards that I've worked with for years. So uh, a couple of individuals I'm thinking of immediately are, are people that have come to me, they've worked with me for a few years, they've disappeared for a few years or a shorter time and then they come back. And those are type of individuals that know where they're at and where they, what they need and how we can be a resource for them. We're always looking to be a resource for our clients. We have another um, group called the Habit Finder Group. We start February 6th on that. It's gonna be in the evening this time. It's our first evening group um, under myself leading that group. We start um, at seven o'clock and uh, Steve and Lenny, a wonderful gift of individuals that are advocates for us. And they are huge um, walking billboards, if you will, uh, that share their own personal growth, uh, their awareness of how their authenticity has developed, how they've got purposeful about what matters to them and how they're continuing and they're ready to d deep dive into that next layer. Because in our habit finder group, we have 14 weeks. Every other week, we dive into 36 different habits that are what we call beneath the surface. And it helps you understand what is happening, how you're supporting or sabotaging your thoughts, and how you can continue to, more, to create more alignment in the journey that you're taking and to have some more joy in the process. Thank you to those gentlemen for being, and many others for being our advocates and our walking billboards. And so let me explain just a little bit more about the walking billboards and then I'll just summarize how you can start creating that. The whole concept of an individual sharing the terminology of advocate, we've had many people define that differently. Um, it is truly somebody supporting and um, encouraging and being a voice for who you are, what you do, and how you do it. And when somebody is willing to be literally walking, <laughs> start their walking process, uh, and they're out sharing, they hear somebody speak about something that's valuable um, to them or some, an obstacle they're running into, whatever that may be, and you hear an opportunity to say, you know, have you considered this? Have you considered talking with this person? That individual is now your walking billboard. And so many people miss the gift of that. Not only does uh, most people, when they're walking billboards for you, they truly know that you're going to offer value, create value, and share value with an individual. And that also rewards them because they care about that person that they're talking with. They care about that opportunity for that person to move forward. So when you're creating a walking billboard for you personally, so contemplate your business, your service, what you do, how you do it. And think about the three to five people that you really enjoy surrounding yourself with um, that have a, appreciate your service, appreciate your value. Have a conversation with them and say, you know, how often do you hear somebody talk about, or let's start even deeper. What do you remember about the service that we worked with you on? What was the most valuable gift for you? And one of the things that we hear often is it created an awareness. And awareness is the first step. Going and acting on that awareness is the next step. That implementation phase is the next very powerful step. And when your clients are living out what you work with them on, or they get to experience that, whether it be an auto mechanic that uh, an individual highly trusts and they're comfortable to say, you know what, you're not gonna need to be worried about them selling you on something that's not accurate. That's a, a value of a walking billboard. Uh, there's so many different aspects for that. So contemplate that for your service. Who are those five people? What service did they really appreciate? What value did they get? How did they get it? And then start asking them, who else do you think would find value in that? How do you think we'd be a resource to them? And how can I help support you in that process? And then some of the gifts you can, what well, we do, we create an advocate program for our advocates and we create special links for them and then they get to earn some uh, what we call commission aspects as we create our team. Um, and that's a whole nother story. And if you're interested in that, please contact me. We'll be happy to get you connected with that. Create that program. Um, all the stores, they have different reward programs uh, for their advocates, their walking billboards. You choose who that is for you. Ideally, we're teaching all of our clients to create, create a minimum of 25 of those a quarter. When you're creating 25 walking billboards for your business on a quarterly basis, if not a monthly basis, more often than not, than not, people are calling you because they've heard. And I can tell you, I've had that happen on Facebook where people are talking about 
who do you work with? And I've had a multitude of clients notify a client, a future client, this is the person you've got to talk to. I've had it happen where a individual tells another person, you know, I know this is what you're particularly looking for. This is who I would suggest for that. Those again are walking billboards. I have many of programs and people I get to partner with and I'm a walking billboard for them as much as I, we work to be walking billboards for each other. Build those relationships, build those partnerships. Uniting our community is so valuable right now. Our leadership is required to make that happen. Create your walking billboards, value them, and acknowledge how they're investing in their own growth, in their others that they want to surround themselves with, and then be thankful and make sure you acknowledge and value each of that aspect, including what you provide. So often, I saw a wonderful post recently, I think I mentioned on our last Freedom Friday, make sure that you value yourself because and to, as you do, as you draw and attract those people to you, and as well as you value in others, there's a humility aspect. I call it humble confidence. <laughs> we want to install that. So to wrap up Freedom Friday, I attempt to keep it very short and sweet um, as we continue to move forward in our 2020 commitments, because we are all about helping our clients create, complete, and celebrate their commitments for 2020. That's a daily process. And sometimes it's just one commitment you complete it that day, celebrate it. And then create another one, create another opportunity, including a walking billboard, and commit to doing that on a daily basis. We look forward to learning who is listening and who are our walking billboards. Have an amazing weekend. We'll see you next Friday.